We're gonna try to find the perfect white t-shirt for you guys today. What's up you guys, Tiffany here. We have over 20 different styles of white t-shirts to try on today from different brands and hopefully this video helps you guys narrow down on which ones might work for you the best and also which ones won't because you don't need to be wasting your time. I'll also let you guys know which ones end up being my personal picks and favorites. So let's get into it. We'll start by covering some fitted styles followed by relaxed fit then oversized tees. I also wore a black bra so you guys can see the difference in thickness for each of these and we'll do some side by side comparisons as well. I'll be leaving additional notes in the description and rating them by thickness levels along with the sizing. The first ones are from none other than Aritzia. First up is the Bliss Hip t-shirt in a ribbed material. You can also tell it's quite thin but it is stretchy, soft, and comfortable and I think this would make a really good layering piece but likely not one that I would wear on its own unless in a darker color. The next one here is similar in the willow style. The best way for me to describe this is a baby tee with a slight compression feel and I really had no business in getting this in a double X. I suppose it just shows how stretchy this gets, quite see-through and a nude bra wouldn't even work in this scenario. If you get this, I'd say definitely size up at least one, maybe even two sizes. And again, could be used as a layering piece. As far as colors go, this is a bright white. I'll also mention in the description those that are a true crisp white if that's something you're looking for and also those that lean warmer or maybe cream toned as well. As for fitted tees from Aritzia, I don't believe anything beats the contour material and it definitely has a tight compressed supportive feel. Not see-through at all but whenever you are wearing something this fitted I think wireless seamless bras are ideal or nippies and specifically a nude bra anytime you're wearing white. You can still see the outline of the bra here when it's not seamless. Sizing wise I do go up a size from my usual in the contour material where there are sleeves so this is an extra small and I could also fit a small for a slightly more comfortable fit around the chest and arms. One downside I've experienced with my contour tops is that I don't particularly find them breathable. Most of these tees covered today are made out of cotton but the contour is synthetic which means it won't be as breathable as natural fibers. The next one here is the Emmer and I believe it is a new style this season. The material is smooth like the contour and I love that it has slightly longer sleeves and I really do like the fit of this. As for the thickness of the tee, you guys can probably guess how I feel about it, so we're moving on. This one from Cotton was sort of a wild card. I mainly wanted to try the Essential Crew, which we'll get into later in this video, but I also wanted to take advantage of the free shipping with the minimum spend, so we're throwing this one in here. This reminds me of a t-shirt I would have owned in the 90s. If you're looking for a cap sleeve fitted t-shirt, this could be a contender. The sleeves do feel a little tight on me and it does run quite long. This next group is the relaxed fit, starting with the Worth tee from Aritzia. I really like the thickness of this. I'd classify it as a mid to heavyweight tee. It tucks really well and has a comfortable crew neckline. Generally, I do think this is a pretty good t-shirt overall with a slim to relaxed fit. Size up from your usual size if you want a little more room. Links and sizing are in the description below. This is the function tee and probably one of my favorites from Aritzia that we're trying on in this video. I can probably do a part two to this if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. Same thickness as the Worth tee, it's in a mid to heavyweight cotton. This however is a little more boxy with longer sleeves which I personally really like and a little shorter on the body. I do wish it was a tad bit longer so my taller girls, this could come up slightly cropped on you. Just something to keep in mind but definitely worth checking out. I know some of these could have used a good steaming session, but hopefully you guys don't mind. The everyday t-shirt from Aritzia is slightly shorter and very comfortable, but definitely see-through. This could work as a layering piece, but I'm not sure this has a place in my personal wardrobe. Next is Cause, and they do have some pretty good basics. This is their clean cut shirt in organic cotton. 
If I haven't said this already, most of these are in some form of a cotton. This one isn't see-through at all. It is on the shorter side though, along the torso. It also has a higher crew neck than most of the other t-shirts. I've worn this a few times as a layering piece under knits during the winter months and it's worked well for that purpose. The Cause regular fit t-shirt has a more relaxed classic fit. It's in a light mid-weight fabric and does pass the thickness test, but you will still want to wear a new bra under this. I love the relaxed sleeves and it's a solid casual everyday tee. My one criticism would be that it's a little fitted around the chest area for me. I'll leave my measurements in the description. So sometimes it does ride up, which I don't love. And I do prefer to have slightly more breathing room around the pits. If you're a sweaty gal like me, you'll understand. A comparable t-shirt to this would be the Arquette Basic Tee, and you'll get a better idea of how they're different when I put these beside each other. A couple differences here, it's cut slightly wider along the body as well as the chest area. A tad bit shorter, it has a slightly more narrow sleeve opening, and although it is still in that mid lightweight material, it almost has the structured shoulder area, which you'll be able to see again, or maybe a little better when we cover the heavyweight material version. I have a few others that are all in a really similar cut and this one is from Lululemon, which actually surprised me. This feels like a sweat wickening material that you would associate with athletic wear, but it's cotton. So you know it's going to be breathable. It's incredibly lightweight and smooth feeling and it does pass the thickness test if worn with, again, a nude bra. Pleasantly surprised with this one, it's a marriage between athletic wear based on the feel, but with a smart casual look when tucked in for a sleek put together vibe that could be appropriate for the office in a business casual setting. On the contrary, we have the Agoldi Slim Fit Jersey t-shirt, which is very much your worn in, casual, comfy tee for errands. It's one of the softest ones out of the bunch. It feels so lightweight, but the major con would be that it is quite sheer. Coming back to cotton, we have the Essential Crew. I did get this in both the double X and extra small to compare, and it came with this little cute canvas bag. Fit-wise, it's a basic relaxed fit t-shirt. I do think these run a little longer on the body. They're priced reasonably, and nothing really sets this one apart for me though in terms of the fit or material. It's a basic tee. I'd probably put these in the lightweight category because they are thinner than the Cause and Arquette tees, which is for me, the benchmark for a light slash medium weight shirt. And this one comes up just shy of that. For mid-weight tees, we have the Basic Crew from Uniqlo. I would probably give this one best overall primarily because of the price point. It's unbeatable, it's not see-through, it has a basic crew neck, a length on me isn't too short or too long, but I can see it being on the shorter side if you are taller than I am. Sizing wise, this is a size small and I'm generally a double X or extra small in Uniqlo, so go up a size for a more relaxed look. Uniqlo also have a few other styles that I definitely want to try out. Okay, this is a later edition. I got my hands on a few other Uniqlo tees, so let's run through them. This is the new women's Spima cotton tee. The site says it's been redesigned to be a little longer along the body and also wider sleeves. The material is definitely lightweight and on the thinner side compared to the original cotton crew. It could pass the see-through test if worn with a seamless nude bra. And the one main difference I notice is that the crew neck is cut a little lower, which could be a good thing depending on your preference. I prefer something a little higher cut, but to each their own. I did get these in different sizes to compare for you guys, so here's what they look like. I also picked up two tees from the men's or unisex collection which are both technically an oversized fit so I'll come back to those later.
If you've watched my previous videos before, some of my favorite teas have been from Bash, which aren't available anymore. So I really wanted to try something new that you guys could pick up. I really like this one and it's not your typical basic tea. Definitely more boxy and slightly cropped with cuff sleeve details. I love the structured look of this, which makes it a little more casual, cool girl vibe. Still one of my favorite material compositions and feels for t-shirts. Also, because it is mixed in with a small percentage of jersey, I find that it doesn't wrinkle as easily as some of the other ones, which is A+. Another not so basic tee is this one by Totem. It wasn't really what I was expecting. It has these wide, slightly frilly sleeves and a curved armhole stitch, as well as a little logo, sort of in an unassuming location. It does curve in at the waist a little, then flares out. I just imagined this to be a little different when I ordered this, but at least I get to review it and show it to you guys. Moving on to the oversized tees. The Pegasus tee from Aritzia is probably one of the most loved oversized t-shirts on the market and I can see why. It has a baggy oversized fit, 100% cotton and not see-through. Now you'll probably still want to size down for this. I'm wearing a double extra small and I personally think this is still too oversized for me so it might be a great option for non-petite girls or if you're just looking for a really oversized tee. But definitely size down if you can. Similar to the Pegasus would be the Totem oversized tee. It's heavyweight, it has an oversized fit, of course. The main difference between the two, I think would be that the material has a slight stiffness to it. It's still soft, but with a little more structure and hold. On the other hand, the oversized t-shirt from Lululemon is the softest and most flowy of the oversized tees I've covered so far. Cool and refreshing on the body, I would probably reserve this though for the more casual, active wear, errand running occasions. Coming to one of my personal favorites, it's the Arquette Heavyweight Tee. The material is thick and luscious. It almost feels like a blend between neoprene and cotton and has a really smooth, silky feel. This one looks a little more dressed up. It's workwear appropriate. Also has a little more structure around the shoulders, which gives off an illusion of shoulder pads. Sizing wise, I am wearing an extra small in this try-on, but I think I'm going to reorder this in a double X for a tighter fit along the body. I know the focus is on white t-shirts, but I couldn't get this one in time and my mother actually had the Uniqlo Arism cotton t-shirt, so I borrowed it from her for this video so I could at least review it for you guys. I'd say this is a lighter material than their regular cotton crew, but I feel like it would still pass that thickness test in white if you were interested in the style. Very boxy, I found the neckline to be a little tight for me. It comes a bit higher on the neck, there's slits down the side, and overall I really do like the light and breeziness of this. This is the Uniqlo Classic Unisex Crew. I'd say it's in a mid to heavyweight material. It's creamy in color, definitely not a classic white. It also has a rougher texture to it than any of the other tees and isn't as soft to the touch.
Another one I picked up is the Arism Oversized Unisex Tee. And again, really like the feel of this material. It's in a cotton poly blend, which doesn't crease as easily as maybe some 100% cotton tees. It's a mid-weight fabric and feels smooth on the skin, incredibly oversized though with elongated sleeves. I do wish they made this in a size smaller, but again, I wanted to try this style and I got this for $12.50 Canadian on sale. Can't really beat that price. Regular is probably somewhere around 20. So definitely check this out if you do want that androgynous look for a casual off-duty kind of day. I'll leave my picks for you guys and the links are also in the description as well. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if I missed any t-shirts that uh, you think I should try and I will see you guys next time. Bye.